Hello and welcome to another session on Java programming. In this session, we'll be taking a look at the various methods in the arrays class. We'll be looking at binary search, sort, compare, and mismatch. We'll also look at the variations to these methods in the arrays class. If you're looking forward to download the code used in these videos, check codesmiddle.com, click on Java. And when you go to the page uh, corresponding to arrays, you'll be able to find the code that's used in this video lecture. So without wasting much of time, let's uh, dive into the demonstrations. So this is going to be a demonstration on demo on the use of methods in the arrays class in Java. So when we are using the arrays class, the first thing is we should import the arrays class from the util package. And what is the use of the methods inside the arrays class? So there are various methods and what is the use of this? Say we all know how to declare an array, right? So let me declare an integer array here. That's going to hold four elements, one, two, three, four. And uh, say if I'm going to search for the element uh, two inside this array, how is that I normally do? I should be running a for loop. For int i is equal to zero, i less than the array length and uh, i plus plus so we'll be running through every value in every index so we'll be comparing whether the element in that index equals to if it equals to we can come out with this result statement saying element is found and uh, we can break yeah you can also have a condition if it's not found you can display a message but uh, here since the element is found we'll break uh, and then we'll come out maybe we'll have a result statement here saying Thanks for using our software. Okay. So this is uh, an, a simple search. We know how to perform this. And uh, let's execute this. Element is found. Thanks for using our software. So it works fine. Now, what is the use of the methods in the arrays class? Whenever we are working with arrays, there is a need for us to use for loops, run through the indexes. Uh, find if the element, uh, check if the element is uh, found or not. Say if you're comparing arrays, again you have to run loops and then you have to compare arrays. Sorting arrays, again you have to run loops. So is there a way to perform search, sort, comparisons, uh, finding elements inside an array without running loops? Then the answer is you have to use the methods inside the arrays class. So let's see how we can perform this in a much easier way by using the inbuilt arrays class in Java. So when you're going to use that, don't need to use all these loops. That's the meaning. Let's uh, take a look at it. Say if I'm going to perform the same search using the static methods inside the arrays class. What do you mean by a static method? There is no need to create an object for it. You can very well use the class name and invoke it. For instance, I'm going to perform a binary search of an integer array so I'm passing the array name that is A and the key to search that is what is the key I'm going to search for here is 2. So if I'm going to have arrays dot binary search and then I am passing the key and then the array name. Let's uh, display the result to the user. So what will be the result here? Let's uh, run this. So what it returns is the index where that element. So here the key is two, where two is uh, present inside the array, it's an index one. So it returns the index where the element is present. Now we are performing a binary search on this array. And you see, we are not running any loops here. We're just using this inbuilt uh, static method inside the arrays class, passing the array name, and then the value that we are going to search for. And what is the output if the element is found? then it returns the index where that element is found. So now you would have understood the use of arrays class. You can work with arrays without using a loop. So you can work with arrays without using a loop. Now let us take a look at the uh, example wherein you're going to search for an element which is not present in the array. Say if I'm going to search for 34, 
do you have 34 inside the array no so what will be the output here see if an element is not present in the array then it returns a negative value if an element is present in the array then what it returns it returns the index where that specific element is present in the array so you can very well use this method dot binary search for searching an element inside the array now let us take a look at comparing two arrays what is the next thing that we are going to see here is we are going to see let's take a look at comparison of two arrays let's take two integer arrays int a and int b let's call this array to be b and let me have the same values inside both these arrays now what is it i want to do i want to compare whether the elements in array a matches with the elements in array b so let's uh, perform this comparison for this what is that we need to perform is we need to call this method the static method arrays dot compare so you're comparing two integer arrays here so this is the method and you're passing the array names a comma b let's display the output to the user after the comparison let's display this output so what will be the output when both the arrays are having the same elements in the same order it's going to be zero so please have this in mind both the arrays have the same elements in the same order that is important and uh, let's uh, take two different arrays now say array a is going to have 2 2 3 4 and array b is going to have 1 2 3 4 now we can say array a is greater than array b because the values in array a is greater than the value in array b for index 0 so let's uh, see what is the output if array a is greater than array b so it's going to return a positive value so here the output is 1 because the value it starts comparing the value index by index the value in array a is greater than the value in array b for index uh, zero so you're going to have a positive output what if it's the reverse array b is greater than array a let's have one and two here now you see array b as a value greater in index zero when compared to the value in index zero for array a so what will be the output here it's going to be a negative value so when you're comparing two arrays whether the elements present in both the arrays are the same and whether they are present in the same order that is important so I can have elements to be the same, but then they are in different orders like this. Now, what will be the output here? The output is going to be a positive one because it considers element uh, in index 0 of array A is greater than element in index 0 of array B. Though these two arrays has the same elements, since the order of the elements is different, it starts comparing it index by index and then when it finds that array a is having a greater value when compared to array b it's going to give a positive value if it finds array b to be having a greater value than array a then it's going to give a negative value if both the arrays have the same number of elements in the same order then you're going to get a zero as the output now let us take a look at the next method in the arrays class that is the mismatch method So what is the use of mismatch method it's going to tell us exactly the index wherein the mismatch occurred between two arrays let's take two arrays array a to be having one two three four and array b contains one two five four now when you compare these two arrays where exactly the mismatch occurred so one one no mismatch two two no mismatch three and five that's a mismatch here so what's the index where the mismatch occurred it's index number two so you're going to have the index return where exactly it finds the first mismatch when it compares two arrays so let me use this method arrays dot mismatch and we are comparing two integer arrays so you have to select the appropriate method for comparing two integer arrays so it's mismatch a comma b so what's going to be the output here it will be two the index two why index two because that's where the first mismatch occurred Let's have another mismatch inside this array. Say here too we have a mismatch in index 3. But what's going to be the output here? It will be the first 
uh, it will be the index wherein the first mismatch occurred. I hope you are able to follow the use of mismatch method in arrays class. Now let's go to the next method, a very useful method that is sorting. Sort an array. So for sorting, we used to run nested for loops and sort it using different sorting techniques. But here, we're going to sort it by just calling the sort method inside the arrays class. Let me take an array that's not sorted. One, two, three six uh, four five let's let's work with one array that's array a now let me call this uh, sort method so it's arrays dot sort and then you pass an integer array that's it now the array is sorted and uh, we can print the contents inside the array maybe we'll run an enhance loop here for int a or int k from a let me print the value k. So this array is not sorted. So we are going to sort it in the ascending order. How is that you perform it? Arrays dot sort and then you pass the array name. And this will return the sorted array. And I am printing every value from within that sorted array. So you can see the output here. The array is sorted now. There's one more uh, variation to this method that is uh, you can sort an array by passing the index from where you need to sort. For instance, uh, you can very well see here 1, 2, 3. This is already sorted. From where we need to sort this array, we need to sort only from this index. So that is from the index 3 till the length of the array. So the variation to sort method is you can pass from where you need to start, from which index you need to start sorting. I will start sorting from index 3 and then I will run till the length of the array, till the end of the array, I need to sort. Now what happens, you can see we are going to sort it only from index 3 till the end of the array. So the first three elements are already sorted. We are sorting the last three elements. And now you are able to see the array is fully sorted in the ascending order. Now you might be having a question, what if I want to sort an array in the descending order? That's possible, but with a small change, instead of having an int, you should declare an wrapper class here. You need, you need to create a wrapper object. So you need to create an integer array that uh, sort of type integer. So we are using wrapper classes here. If you're not clear about what are wrapper classes, please refer to my lecture on wrapper classes and how to create a wrapper objects. So you need to create an array of type integer and then you can call the sort method pass the array name and you should be calling collections dot reverse order so this is the comparator that we are going to use collections dot reverse order i know we are not uh, learned the collections framework yet but still we'll use this arrays dot sort the array name collections dot reverse order to reverse the uh, sorting so now you're going to see the array sorted in the descending order okay so what is it we have learned with uh, the arrays class say the methods that we have learned are binary searching we have learned sorting sorting in the reverse order sorting from a specific index we have also looked at comparing two arrays. What happens when two arrays are equal or one array is um, greater than the second array. So we have seen that comparing two different arrays and also we have looked at mismatch. And uh, what happens if there is a mismatch? It returns the exact index wherein that mismatch occurred. Did we look at uh, what happens if there is no mismatch in the array? I think I didn't uh, talk to you about that. Maybe. We'll take these two arrays again, int a, this is uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, and uh, int b, this is 1, 2, 3, 4. So here we are not having any mismatch. So what happens when we call uh, the static method arrays.mismatch and then we pass to integer arrays a, b, what will be the output when there is no mismatch? 
when there is a mismatch the index is returned where the mismatch occurred when there is no mismatch a negative value is getting returned with that we are coming to an end of this session if you are interested in getting the code that is used in this demonstration please visit uh, codespindle.com and browse to java and arrays and then you will be able to find the code corresponding to the arrays class on that specific page if you have any questions uh, leave it as comments below i will be looking at it thank you all for listening take care